Dun Damson Travel in Japan Wonderland. Welcome to Who is 10 Bosch Nagasaki in Japan. Episode 9. The Palace of Huis Ten Bosch which dates back to the 17th century is the jewel in the crown of visiting this wonderful resort. This palace was built as an exact replica of the original of the Dutch Palace and the official residence of Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands where it was built after obtaining permission from the Dutch royal family. Inside the palace and after the visitors have seen its luxurious rooms with all their components, including bedrooms, furnishings, reception, dining room, and ceramic vessels. The Imperial Phantom Garden located behind the palace welcomes you to a fantastic world of a spectacular illumination shows, music and charm fountains. Huis Ten Bosch Palace is a house and art museum where there is the largest Japanese mural room in the shape of a dome. It was executed by the Dutch painter Rob Schulte and a total of 40 artists. Schulte came up with this wonderful artistic project, which consists of 1200 square meters of murals in 360 degrees entitled, Anti-War and Peace. Inside the palace is the Museum of Ceramics, which houses about 3000 pieces of porcelain. The Amari porcelain crossed the sea to Europe in the mid-17th century. Japanese porcelain was very much loved and very useful as furniture. In addition, in the 18th century, where the Chinese, Arita and European porcelain presented a flow of trade exchange between East and West. House 10 Bosch has become a very successful and well-balanced, sustainable tourism development in reference to the key pillars of economic growth, social equity and environmental balance. All of these factors can be expected to continue their business operations which include environmental and social commitments for future generations. House 10 Bosch has significantly contributed to Nagasaki's tourism legacy by enriching the culture and natural. It is also possible to spend an unprecedented time with the experience of entering the gold room inside the palace, as it includes, in addition to the items displayed, more than 60 gold handicrafts that can be sold. In the gold room, we find that the floor, walls, and ceiling are all covered with lustrous metal, as the walls and ceiling were pasted directly by craftsmen with 24 karat gold leaf. In the center of the room is a pyramid of gold ingots made of pure gold which can be tried to touch and lift. Apart from the Huis Ten Bosch Palace as a wonderful replica of the historical Dutch Palace, the theme park presents itself as a city to stay and relax in the most beautiful hotels, enjoy amusement rides, watch performances and presentations in five dimensions, eat delicious food in its distinctive restaurants, stroll on both sides of the ship's marinas and wander at night to see the entire city that turns into the Japanese Wonderland Garden with millions of thousands of LED lights gives it the magical touch of the real Amsterdam. Considering staying at an in-house hotel is a great idea to experience all of Huis 10 Bosch main attractions and it's recommended to spend overnight in one of its luxury hotels and there are accommodations options for everyone. This project of Huis 10 Bosch was initiated based on the idea of the attractions, with the themes of flowers and light, which are the symbols of the theme park.
A new space in Hues Ten Bosch where the visitors can see and experience the sound of Carillon Fantasia performance where sound and light are synchronized by a magnificent Carillon with a height of 9 meter. A Carillon refers to a combination of several bells that can be used to play a melody and it's installed in a bell tower building. With a minimum of 23 bells, 2 octaves or more, and played on a baton style keyboard, in Japanese, it is translated as Kumi Bell. It is a traditional instrument in Belgium and the Netherlands, and dates back to around the 14th century, when small bells called pre-striking were added to the large bells in churches, watch towers, and belfries to announce the time in advance of their ringing. In Japan, there are several Japanese caroliniers who have received formal education at carillon schools in the Netherlands or Belgium and have passed the graduation examination and obtained a diploma. The carillon is equipped with hand and foot keys for manual playing, and the keys and bells are connected by wires. Since the carillon itself is very heavy, it requires a great deal of strength to play, making it impossible to create a mechanism that allows easy finger playing. Therefore, the keys are made of sturdy sticks called batons, synonymous with baton, a stick handed out in a relay, each of which is struck by the player with his or her fist with great force. Since the fist must transmit a large amount of force energy to the bells, and since only one note can be played simultaneously with each hand, a foot keyboard was added in a style in which many notes are produced together took root.